What is up my crazy subscriber, this is Joe King Johnson and for today people, I'll be quickly reviewing Fortnite Battle Royale 50 vs 50 game mode. And first things first guys, yes I will start out with the negative side, yes I know, boo boo Joe, shut up, you're not a pro. Of course I'm not a pro, I'm just a casual who jumped over from Call of Duty World War 2 because they did not release Ground War at all. I need some chaos in my life man. So that's why I started playing Fortnite 50 vs 50 for the past few weeks and uh, you know overall it's been pretty fun. You know I enjoyed it so because I need some chaos in my life and this is giving it to me but at the same time I notice a lot of features missing. Some features that could possibly upgrade this game to the max and be well I'm not gonna say be better than PUBG but like almost to that level. So let me tell you guys some of the negative things. First things first of course has to be the microphone god damn it why are we still stuck in squads if it's 50 versus 50 i mean i know battlefield does the same crap too like oh you're stuck in a fucking squad too and you can only talk to that particular squad you know from like a squad of four or from a squad of six which is good but uh you know it's fortnite man i think you guys should really push that limit and adding more of a team chat or maybe a proximity mic chat or something i think that will be a a better upgrade than just like talk to your four squad mates that don't even have mics and are not even cooperating with the damn place because I have teammates that are out of the circle and for some odd reason they're still not inside the circle and they die believe me I had those kinds of teammates already so many times and I'm like man I'm a casual and I already know what to do and these guys are still stuck outside the circle not knowing what to do they probably have been playing since day one kind of weird to be honest so Another reason why we need some kind of a chat, a team chat thing going on, is because I want to warn my teammates where the enemy is coming from. There was a lot of moments in this gameplay in the background by itself that I wanted to tell my teammate, hey, there's a fucker coming from that direction. And I couldn't tell him because he wasn't in my team, he wasn't in my squad. So, all I could do is, hopefully he, hear he hears my shots. That's about it. You have to rely on your teammate's shots. If not, you don't know where the hell the, te the, the enemy is coming from. So, it's it kind of creates a big problem, to be honest. It should really just add a proximity mic uh, to everybody, and it will be a little bit more realistic. I mean, you can hear people screaming from like the background and be like, hey, he sounds like he's behind a hill or some shit. Like, it's, it will be fucking funny, but... You know, it, you, they just need some kind of an upgrade. That's all I'm asking for, and it will be a great game overall with the proximity chat. Another thing that should really add though, maybe a penalty for every time they don't revive you, or maybe a bonus for every time they revive you, because god damn it, every time I go down, I see like freaking 8 people across the damn town not doing anything about it, I'm like surviving over here, I put the other guy down also, I'm down, the enemy's down, so it's safe. And these other 8 teammates playing hopscotch out of nowhere, are not doing anything about it, they're not helping me, so I'm like, Bro, are you guys going to revive me? And I sat there for a whole two minutes watching myself die. And I'm like, welcome to Fortnite, man. <laughs> welcome to fucking Fortnite, I guess. Fucking dicks. So it's like a big problem going on with the revive thing. I'm not sure at some point it should just add a self-revive. I don't know, because it's becoming so annoying that I see eight teammates and they're not even doing nothing about it to help me out. So... It's it's really annoying, and I'm a casual, damn it, and I recognize these damn problems. Shit, when I see some of my teammates going down, I go and help them. Except for this little moment right here when my teammate dies, but it's because he, he killed him right away, so I couldn't do much. But I killed the enemy that killed him, so hey, I did some kind of revenge work for him. So, um, some of the positive things though, like I said, I needed chaos in my time. I needed chaos because ground war wasn't added in Call of Duty World War II. Uh, it kind of fulfilled that promise to be honest, you know at the end like when the circle does close a little bit more It becomes very chaotic when it becomes like an actual balance number like 20 versus 20 Man everything's going out grenade launchers rocket launchers just flying across the damn sky. It's freaking hilarious and Exciting and fun and I'm like man. I never seen this before this is just amazing. This is what gaming is for. So, uh, yeah, man. And overall, it's amazing when you get that feeling when you're in the final top 40 or whatever. So, uh, yeah, you, you, you get those little moments. Um, another thing is, you know, the amount of weapons they give you right away. I mean, you find them all over the goddamn map. It's, you just gotta learn how to use them. I gotta learn how to use them still. So, um, overall, I mean, it's good to, like, just, like search around the map and find some weapons and it does get a little bit boring from the beginning but 
you know you gotta stay, still be on your feet because you never know when there's an enemy around you so it it does becomes a little bit tense which is good you know you become a little bit competitive because of that so it overall it's fun i want to give it like a maybe like a 7.5 out of 10 because it does need some upgrades it needs more man it needs more this is just the pale skin of a freaking i don't know what the hell would they call it pale skin though I'll just, this is the bare bones of a freaking mode that could be even more than that. Like, people wanted vehicles since the beginning, and <laughs> I know, man. It's just, it needs more. All I'm going to say, it needs more. I want to give this game mode a 7 out of 10. Should they keep it or not? Because the community right now is currently divided in 50 versus 50. Um, I'll say they should keep it for another month. So that is it, guys. Leave your opinion in the comment section, and I'll be uploading some more, guys. See you guys later.